Hello there, Tyrant here, and I just finished watching episode 8 of my, no, just Darling in a Franks, Franks, and so I missed recording last week's episode, the whole, uh, I would say fan service beach episode, um, for the most part that was enjoyable, but let's talk about episode 9, I mean 8, uh, this show is kind of a little bit of a funky state, so on, on this episode, it was kind of another fun episode in a way that from last week's change from them just kind of enjoying the beach and everything here, it's them just kind of being adolescents and um, going through puberty. Even the adults mentioned this and stuff like that. So for the most part, it's another fun episode. Um, it starts off with a actually surprisingly intense battle scene with music that just came out of nowhere. Um, so that was like, okay, so we're just moving into another, um, uh, intensity, but from the title, Boy vs. Girl, and from just a little bit of a synapse, you had, like, the girls and the boys were going to be fighting, and because of the situation they got in that fight with, um, there's this, uh, tradition of, like, slime dissolving, uh, their suits, you get this very perverted scene, and, you know, it leads to the girls really pissed off. So... This, the episode in itself turns into the house being split into one side boys, one side girls, and you know, the whole shenanigans happen. You know, guys can't use the bathroom, girls can't use the kitchen. <laughs> so, and they're very adamant about, like, like you know, it's a, yeah, don't. Uh, there is one thing I'd like to note is from last episode, I uh, forgot what the girl. The, the long haired blonde girl did find that book of procreation um, back in the in the doctor's office and it came back in this episode I was hoping there was gonna be more talk of it but it just made its uh, made its glimpse um, so hopefully next episode maybe some more or maybe the episode after because we're still a few episodes in so we should be good but I like how adamant the girls and the guys are about not giving in basically just how any uh, young teenagers or uh, would just fight about things like this. What surprised me really was how, like, it was gonna end with them kind of like consoling after some realization and stuff like that. Was Zero Two really messed with them? I like how Zero Two wanted to be a part of this in her own way and had a blast with it. Um, now, like I said, I thought we knew, I knew how it was going to end with them just making up and blah 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 friendship. It, it ended a little bit like that, but in a much more harsher tone. So, what's her name? What's her name? The... I'm trying to remember... Shoot. The, the pig-haired girl, like, runs away. Uh, because she's very strongly not willing to like accept, uh, you know, the whole shenanigans with the boys. Uh, so she sneaks into one of these sealed up doors. And it, what they find in that door is the remnants of the previous, um, the previous uh, Squad 13's um, remain not remains, but belongings, that's what I want to say. And a photo of them. And it comes... And it kind of just clicks in them, like, there was another team before them, and they're all dead now. So, yeah, you know. So, it comes, like I said, it comes back with friendship in, at the end. Um, but in a way of more realization, like, like, you have to, you might be dealing with stuff now. With this whole feeling of adolescence. But if you can't work together, you guys are gonna end up dead. <laughs> you know? It's like super realis uh, realism right there. Like you have to get it through your head. Like you're gonna die if you don't uh, if you don't get things settled up. So, yeah. So it, another fun episode into some really dark uh, ending. So uh, that's kind of it for that. Um, so I'll leave it at that. Um, we'll see how things will continue. Hopefully, more realizations will happen. I don't know how it'll end. That's the thing. It's weird. It's a good, progressing reasonably well, 
But I don't know what the end goal is. That's a thing. It's not showing an end goal. There's no antagonist or anything. It's literally plot development slowly and slowly. But without an, a, I would say, a true ending. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah. So thanks again for watching. Until next time.